All right. <laughs> I'm in a deep thinking. Hey guys, what's up? It's currently like 9 something am and it's my first time in my life, like in my lifetime going camping. So I'm gonna try and vlog as much as possible um, and get as much footage because it's gonna be an adventure. It's just car camping, so it's not a big video. But anyways, this is the fit of the day. We're just comfy. just put on my comfy shorts with my comfy shirt. I just got like a tank top under here in case. Wish me luck. I mean, I can't believe I'm 21 and I've never been camping. That's uh an adventure to capture that's for sure okay we're just about to pick up some morning breakfast hi what can i get for you hi can i please get a sausage farmer's wrap extra chipotle two bacon farmer's wrap potato wedges please large double double an orange juice medium caramel iced coffee with almond milk please all right anything else that's all all right ew there's like shit there like someone threw up ew double check and what's up today okay perfect thank you all right, you guys, Tim Hort this Tim Hortons, like a specific location, like not all Tim Hortons, but this Tim Hortons is like so speedy. Like it is so fast. Like you literally order and your food is ready. Like right when you get to the window, like it's, it's like a two second drive to the window and your food is ready. Hold on, I'm just gonna park. Okay, so we're going camping with Madison's friends because we're basically going because my parents wouldn't let Madison go alone. So we're basically going to chaperone them. <laughs> pretty much um, because there's a couple of them that wouldn't be able to go if we didn't go. So the whole trip kind of relies on us. I mean, not really, but for some people it does. So we're not actually going with like our own friends, but it should still be fun. guys what's up so it's the next day from when you last saw me on the car in the car so we got to the campsite and this is our first and last day here because we're leaving tomorrow so we're just here for two nights and i just didn't really vlog yesterday at all because first of all well i got the montage of setting up one tent anyways i actually slept immaculately so that was my first time in my life ever sleeping in a tent that was pretty monumental this morning got some coffee from the little shop and where me and Joel are just walking to go check out the lake. Um, I'm not probably like, the reason why I didn't vlog last night was because like, it's all like Madison's friends. So I don't want to like pull out my camera because like, you know, it's just like not the same as when, when I'm with my friends, obviously. But today I think we're going to like basically try and do our own thing. So I'm going to try and get some real camping footage today. Um, but yeah, everything is kind of just like a shit show right now, but it's actually like a pretty nice place. It's like a tiny like camping resort and it's actually, yeah, it's really pretty. We're just about to go check out the lake. I think already mentioned that but yeah give you guys a little bit of a resort tour currently at the dock and this is like a private dock and it's like super small and it's like not supposed to be for us because it's supposed to be for the campsites that are like right here because we have a group campsite like further down but there's like a tiny beach with like docks but me and Joel like wanted to like come on these little private docks so we were just like looking to see if there was like no one at the campsites we can just go and then like there's this guy he's like oh like you can use it like it's fine like go have fun and we're like oh my god it was so nice so that was like the nicest thing so now we got our little own private dock and Madison and her friends are like on the bigger docks over there but we just wanted to have a little private excursion Good morning guys, so I'm back from camping and that's a long story. Came back a day early because I got my period while camping and it was like the day before we left. It was like around 
six, seven, I think. And I got my period and I was like, oh my God, like my periods are so bad that I was like, I can't have my period pain here. Like I need to go home. Like it's that bad where like I literally feel like I'm dying. So I'm like, I gotta go home because I need my bathroom because I literally just like sit on the toilet when it happens. And I did have new painkillers, I thought, but I didn't know if they worked. Anyways, we packed up our stuff. Me and Joel left camping. On the way home, I was getting really bad cramps. The pain medication didn't really work that well at all. And it was horrific, but we're live. We're weller now and I'm just gonna vlog today. It's currently 8.30 and I have a COVID test today and fitting today for like my background acting because next week, Monday to Friday, I'm working every single day on set. Thank God it's like not too far away. It's like a good 25 minute drive for both things. So my COVID test is at 9.30, so I need to leave in like half an hour-ish. And then my fitting's at 11. Literally not even summer anymore. Sad. Oh my gosh. Wow. This braid really curled my hair. Holy shit. Oh my god. Look at that. I had soccer yesterday so my hair was like, it got like a bit humid and like wet from the condensation. I don't know, whenever I have soccer like messes up my hair um, when it's like cold outside. It was a little, it wasn't cold but it was a little chilly. So then I got home and I'm like, ew my hair looks gross. So I just put it in a braid. And wow, that actually curled it really, really nicely. Hey guys, it's hours later from when you last saw me. It's currently six o'clock basically, and I'm about to make some vegan Alfredo. I don't feel good right now. I don't mean like my mood. I just mean like, I feel weird. Like I feel like I need a burp. Like I feel like something is inside me. Like I think I'm gonna get a carbonated drink because something needs to come out. Like I feel not gassy, but I feel like I just need a burp, which I guess is considered gas, so gassy. But yeah, I'm gonna start to make dinner. We'll see how good this vegan Alfredo recipe is. I'm just gonna like gather all the ingredients and then start making it. I don't wanna bore you guys with my cooking, so I'll just do a little bit of clips here and there. I know you guys didn't sign up for cooking videos. Listening to music is just puts me in the best mood. Honestly, if you're feeling down or if you just want to like have fun, put on some music, like just like blast it and just have the best time. <laughs> that was disgustingly satisfying. Well, now I know what was stuck inside of me. Wow, that like felt so relieving. Anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually cook now. Okay, so is this sad? No, it's Friday. It is freaking Friday. I was gonna say it's Saturday, but it's definitely not Saturday. Anyways, point being, I'm feeling amazing right now. Sometimes I have these weird moments where I just kind of realize, where I just kind of realize like how lucky I am for the life that I live and for the people in my life. And God, I don't want to cry. Like I was not trying to cry right now, but I just get in these moods sometimes where i'm so so happy and just grateful for just everything it's the best thing i get so emotional <laughs> i did not mean to cry like i was just i wasn't even planning on saying this but and you know what i literally turn on the camera and i just talk to you guys because i feel like you guys are all my friends talking to the camera like it feels like i'm talking to you right now like you know what i mean like it's like we're best friends so if you watch my videos i can consider you my best friend that's why when i turn on the camera like i'll plan to say something and then like i'll venture off into saying like some other thing because it's like i'm talking to someone like it's weird it's really weird like when i first started talking to a camera i was like robotic and i like froze and like it was weird but now it's like i can see you guys in the lens like, isn't that weird that like i'm talking to like a camera but like you guys are like in there like you're watching this on your screen it's like isn't it weird that you guys are watching me on your screen from wherever in the world right now like you guys are watching my videos like in your own house like why is that so weird oh my god i'm i'm like in a deep thinking mood right now like i'm, I'm having a deep thinking episode right now this is so weird i love when i get in these types of moods but at the same time it's like it's weird but anyways i have this mess as you can see behind me and it's friday night and i'm being so lame and i'm cleaning that's weird anyways oh it's gonna be friday when you guys when this video is published so that's kind of funny too 
Anyways, I'm getting so sidetracked right now what I actually wanted to say. Why I actually turned on the camera. I have this mess. It's like from when I went camping, I just kind of like dumped my bag out because I needed my duffel bag for my soccer practice. So I dumped all the clothing out and it's behind me, random shit everywhere. And since it's like the weekend tomorrow, I just want to like go in it with a fresh start or at least like just tidy up my clothing right now. It's start to fold while I talk to you guys. But I read this quote and I wanted to share it with you guys because this is what I wanted to talk about. What's up? Oh God, stop waiting for Friday, for summer, for someone to fall in love with you, for life. Happiness is achieved when you stop waiting for it and make the most of the moment you are in now. And I think I've like spoken about this before, but I just, I need to say more things and say it again. It's like, it's good and it's okay to look forward to things in life. Like if you have a vacation, whatever it is, it's like good and it's healthy, it's fine to like look forward to things, but don't live for the things that you look forward to. You know what I mean? Let's say I booked a vacation six months from now, okay? Leading up to those six months, all I'm thinking about is that vacation. I'm The days are passing me by and I'm not even noticing. I'm just robotic-like, closed-minded, tunnel vision until I get on that vacation because my mindset is like, okay, gotta do this work before I go on the vacation. I'm gonna suck it up. But it's like, you're just wasting your life. Like, even though you're looking forward to that vacation and it's getting you through your work, that's an issue because that vacation is getting you through your work, if that even makes any sense. Like you have to look for the happiness in each and every single day, in each moment that you're in, instead of yearning for it in the future, looking forward to that thing that's happening in two weeks from now that's gonna get you through the week. And I used to do this a lot where like, obviously if I had a vacation and I'd be in school or whatever, I'd be like, it's okay, I'm just gonna tough it out and I'd tunnel vision it all the way until that vacation. But when I look back at the time that I tunnel visioned, it's like I barely remember that time in my life because I was so like, just robotic-like and not the days were just passing me by and that's why it's just so important to live in the present because like you're never gonna get this moment back like this moment right now that's never gonna come back to me there's so much beauty in the present that like sometimes we don't even notice you're never gonna be actually happy until you're happy within the present and you don't have that thing to look forward to like you're just happy the way you are you're happy with what you're doing and that's it I literally said that I was gonna fold my shit okay I need to start folding and talking because I suck at multitasking obviously anyways if we live all of our days just like purposely looking forward to something and that's like all we do it's kind of like putting a band-aid on the problem you know it's not really like fixing that internal need that internal hole it's putting a band-aid on the problem and i think that you need like more than that you need to search for happiness in your day-to-day -day life and change things if you're not already happy within your day-to-day -day life and i don't think that making something to look forward to however often it's going to be the problem solver to your unhappiness or your boredom try and like reflect on your day and realize like what did i do today that made me happy like start finding happiness in every day in every moment because if we're always looking forward to something or focusing on the past like you're gonna miss out on your own life and like that's so true like you're literally gonna miss out on your own life if you're always looking forward to something else these normal regular days that we're living through are just as important like a monday is just as, is just as important as a friday is just as important as a saturday it's the same day just because it's a monday or a friday or a saturday like at the end of the day it's the same thing you wake up and you go to bed it's a day and that is it so just because like oh you have work on monday or whatever it is that doesn't mean that automatically your Mondays or your Tuesdays have to be shitty. That's just like that mindset that you have ingrained in you because, oh, the work week starts Monday, so it's gonna be shitty. Um, what if you have the mindset going into it? Like, hey, I'm starting a brand new week. I'm alive another day. Like have that mindset going into your days that it's something to be happy about no matter what. Like every moment is special. And if you're miserable in your job, you wanna do something else, go do that. Like what is gonna make you look forward to being in the present moment? Like what's gonna make you happy the present moment and think about that also try and like be in the present moment like stop thinking about past or the future or something else because the present moment is the only moment that exists if you think about it the future doesn't exist yet past doesn't exist anymore because it's over with and right now is the only moment that exists it's the only moment that's real if we're not taking advantage of that if we're not living in the present moment then you're never gonna find that true happiness so my challenge to you guys is just stop looking forward to things and start living your days out happily like it is an exciting day every day because it is like you're alive another day not everyone gets a chance to say that
Okay guys, so I just got into bed and I'm gonna be reading this book and this is the Summer I Turn Pretty series. So I finished the first one and I'm on to the second book. I'm like almost halfway through. And the first book was like honestly pretty slow. Things started happening more towards the end and this book, it seems like it's gonna be really good, but it's keeping me interested. It's keeping me intrigued. So it's good so far, but I'll give you guys like an update when I'm done the whole series. Cause I feel like I gotta finish everything first before I like get my final verdict. But I'm just gonna sit down and read my book um, because we're on a book wave, okay? We're on a reading wave. And I'm gonna have some Brookside chocolates. These are the pomegranate flavor. These are so good. If you guys have never had these, I'm telling you, you're missing out. Like you need to try these right now. They're so good and they always hit the spot. And of course I got my smart sweets as well because it's a Friday night, okay? I'm gonna sit back and I'm gonna read and eat. Enjoy my Friday night, you know? Friday nights don't have to be wild. They can be whatever you want it to be. Because sometimes I realize like I am such a homebody. I'm such a homebody. Like the second I step out of the house, not the second camp, that's like over Saturday, but like after I step out of the house for too long, I think to myself like, I just want to be in my bed right now. Like I just want to be at home. Like I'm such a homebody. I love being at home. Like sometimes when I go out like to a party or just out, on a Friday night or whenever it is, like sometimes I'll like regret it and be like, I wish I was home right now. Let me know if you guys are like a homebody or not a homebody. A Friday night spending it either watching Netflix, reading or doing, watching YouTube videos while eating. That is like a for me. But anyways, I'm gonna end off the video here because I feel like I was just rambling on for the last part of the video. But you know what? I love talking to you guys and I just need to get stuff off my chest and I feel like you guys just are the perfect people to talk to because when I talk to a camera, I can't talk back. So I can just keep going and going, you know what I mean? Anyways, I'm gonna shut up now, read my book, relax, enjoy my Friday night, and I'm gonna be vlogging tomorrow because I'm going downtown. So I'm gonna start a new vlog tomorrow. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much for all your amazing, nice, sweet comments. Like you guys are literally the best and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already bye-bye let her know i gotta let her know that she my white horse she my medical she like my baby mom know how to take care of me get my baby problems you gonna regret everything so i let her know i gotta let her know came through the front door i'll be ready for and if it's what you want